Hello and hi guys, this is Sonny Mellon and welcome to Stein Codes. In this video tutorial, we'll be going over the third part of creating an RTS game inside of Godot. In this, we'll be creating the UI and uh, we'll be setting up the basic UI and the selectable units. So let's get right into Godot. Uh, I've hopefully not, oh yes, I had created this unit script uh, just to test a few things, but okay. Now we are ready to jump right into coding or uh, creating. And as you can see, I've changed nothing overall in the whole scene tree. It's just like uh, it used to be. There are no changes and we can still zoom in, zoom out and all that stuff. Okay then. So what we are still missing is to have some UI. To do that. I'm quickly gonna go and add a canvas layer and I'm gonna rename it to UI. I'm gonna add a I'm gonna go to control and add a control. I'm gonna uh, name it base. I'm gonna go to control and search for a nine patch rec. And once I've added this nine patch rect, I'm first going to go to base, going to layout. I'm gonna hit full rect. And for as for this nine patch rect, uh, we need a texture. And for that, I'm gonna go to Kenny's UI pack and the Kenny's fonts pack. Links will be in the description. And after that, let's just uh, show in file manager. I'm going to go to this folder. I've copied the PNG folder from inside uh, the UI pack. And I'm just going to rename it to UI and fonts. I'm just going to cut both the files. Get real time strategy 2D. I'm going to go to yeah uh, sprites. And I'm just going to paste everything in here and hit refresh. And everything should be re-importing. And once that's done, you can quickly jump into the sprites, go to UI, and we can just find a panel. Oh, let me just search for pa uh, panel. And I'm gonna add the orange panel. So I'm just gonna drag the orange panel and drop it over here. And I'm gonna go to patch margin. And in all the directions, I'm going to give it 10, 10, 10, and 10. And with that done, let me just go and select bottom wide. Let me just give it a little more height. That should be enough. And as you can see, this is now aligned perfectly the camera. So let me just play it again and you can see that it moves with a camera and even if I zoom or uh, make maximize my game it's still there and still full size so you can just edit the height to your preference I prefer something like this and let me just tell you that the height will not change everything else will but the height won't or you can just use code actual code to change the height depending on the resolution so until then this is all that we're going to have and let's get uh, started with creating something of a unit let's quickly go and create a kinematic body 2d i'm gonna call it unit i'm gonna add right i'm gonna name it box I'm gonna duplicate it I'm gonna name it right now I'm just gonna add a collision shape and I'm gonna name it shape and in the sprite I'm just quickly gonna go to uh, unit uh, unit in sprites folder I'm just this in sprites folder into unit folder 
and select a basic unit to place there just place any unit into it and that's it uh, this is the your unit and let's just quickly get it give it a shape I'm gonna give it a new rectangle 2d let me just remove this snap resize it I'm just gonna make it almost a perfect fit you don't need to go into uh, perfection but I will recommend you to make it roughly matching the size because this is what will help us take the mouse input now go uh, now to go to the kinematic body 2d go to collision object 2d panel and go to pickable and turn it on this will enable us to take mouse input and let's quickly add a script I'm gonna call it unit.gd I'm gonna save it inside the scripts and capitalize the CU and we are done so this is a uh, This is a simple code for the unit and I'm going to just give it one variable for now and that's going to be selected and I'm going to set it to false and I'm giving it the export uh, uh, modifier because I want to see it uh, while I'm running the game so that I can debug for any kind of problems and I'm just gonna say if and I'm also gonna need an on ready var box equal to box I can say if selected then if box dot visible equal to false box dot visible equal to true and we can say else uh, else if box dot visible equal to true box dot visible equal to false and this should be enough to test our basic code now we need to give the box some kind of a texture I created a dummy texture over here and in future we'll modify it to some kind of better looking selection box but this should do for now and let me jump back in back to the kinematic body 2d go to the node section and under the input event uh, connect the signal to the unit and hit connect you have got this function and we can say in this function if event is input event mouse button and if event dot is okay is in the scope pressed you can say if event dot button index equal to button left and we can just quickly say uh, selected equal to true and okay selected equal to true that is what we will do if we get and we can say if event dot button index equal to button underscore right 
then selected equal to false so we will deselect if i right click on the object and we'll select if we click on the object so this should be working let me just quickly save the scene inside the scenes folder and try out okay so our object is right in the corner so let me just make all the children unselectable and drag it to somewhere in the center and hit play go to remote go to unit and select it and see the inspector for the members let's just quickly go and see if left click left click is working and now oh yeah left to right click both are working so we have created a basic selectable unit which we can select and deselect at will inside of Godot. in the future videos we'll be adding signals in this function to add the selected unit to the world manager create a world manager and all that complicated stuff but bye for now and see you later in the future videos and hope you guys will like subscribe and comment for well supporting me <laughs> and bye